video just because I was doing some shopping and um, generally, generally I shop off season so you know they're wrapping up summertime uh, I'm about to be shopping for summer stuff because it's all going on sale and we're entering winter so while everybody's buying winter stuff and getting prepared for winter I've already did that last year and now I'm focusing on summer shopping <laughs> so anywho with that being said um i've been doing some of that and i came across some things at walgreens i made a little short about it but i wanted to i wanted to say some things so i made a little bonus video so this video is very current um i made this today as you're seeing it today is september 10th um so i went out to walgreens and i got some things and i just want you all to always keep in mind if you're out somewhere and you see things i know a lot of people kind of budget well i shouldn't say that i think it's like 50 50 from the people that i know kind of budget so some people are like oh i don't need it leave it and they keep going and some people are like "Ooh, but it's ten dollars i have to get it you know um but when you have a business just always be thinking about that always be thinking about you know um, when you go places, when you attend like fairs or something, uh, you can always put your name in for like a gift or, you know, if they do a raffle, uh, they'll hear your agency. So this one is from the agency of blah, 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 you know, um, it always looks good. It's, a, it's like a little shout out, you know, um, and then if you have really good gifts, you'll remember for that. I'm known for really giving really good gifts. Um, so anywho. They just had a ton of things. I, one of the things that I thought was really cute was a little book, and it was so perfect to me. It said it was like uh, notes from mom or something like that. I'll put the picture in here or a video, whatever I have. But I just thought that was so cute. So, you know, I just pictured me going to like some assisted living, independent living facilities and kind of like talking to them about, you know, health, health or, you know, how to manage uh, being careful at home, how to manage, you know, if you're at, at risk for falling. How to maneuver around the home and just different things to keep an eye out for or you know whatever your topics may be just going there and kind of explaining those things to them and then maybe you know giving a gift uh, for whoever can answer a question the most questions or something like whatever your game is um, if you want to not do an informational session and you want to like call bingo um, and you have a gift for that so of course you could say everybody gets a gift and then you give them a little bag you know a pin with the number and the name on it um a magnet to put on their refrigerator you can have that and you can say everybody's a winner here <laughs> uh, you know or at this agency we believe everybody's a winner so everybody's getting something anyway um but then you have this one nice gift that somebody actually wins or a couple people actually win but I thought that was really sweet because, you know, it's something for the family. If, you know, that little book, if they're writing notes to their children or recipes or, you know, stories from when they were children, they're, you know, using their time, you know, it's helping them pass time, you know, and they're really thinking about it and um, it helps them with memory and it, you know, it gives them something to do. Like, I'm just thinking about all of the good things that this book that's from a mom to their child or whoever it, it just does so much good to them if they really utilize it um so yeah i just thought that was really cute and then it's something that they could leave to their children or grandchildren or whoever they choose to and even when they're gone you know they have this handwritten book of recipes or storytellings or uh you know just telling them how much you know they're proud of them and things like that so there was that there was a wellness book um there was like a candle where you put the candles out and you can cut clip the candle wick um i have been waiting on that so i was excited but i did not want to pay ten dollars and at the dollar tree they have where you can put the candle out but they didn't have the clipper so i was excited to get that for myself but i also got one just in case uh you know i could take it with me for a client gift um and then of course when bath and body works has their sale i'll get them a candle or something to go with it <laughs> So, like I said, I'm known for giving the good gifts, so that's kind of what I came up. And you mix it, you know, your highs, your lows. So, yeah, it was, a, it was a dollar. They'll never know. And then the candle's probably going to be, what What are they, like, five bucks or something? I don't know if you use the coupon on top of a coupon and stuff. So, yeah, um, those are good gifts. <laughs> they have some customized ones that are, like, zodiac signs, letters, like the coffee mugs had like letters on them, things like that. Keychains with zodiac signs. 
things like that. And those are also good gifts. You know, if you if you know that a client's birthday or something is coming up and you know the client and you know they're a Capricorn or something like that, um, then you could definitely get that for them too. And like, hey, I thought about you. I know your birthday was coming up. I said, let me get that for her, you know, whatever. Um, so, you know, and I talked about this before, but this is just something that I always do. I'm just always out thinking about my clients and be, like I said because I shop on the off season so I'm always in the store like oh my gosh this is two dollars who can I buy these jeans for like somebody has to fit these jeans <laughs> um but yeah I just wanted to let you guys in on that and also the service planner pro you guys love. I, I swear I don't try to sell myself I, I forget a lot of times but the service planner pro uh is available on Amazon the link is in the description below the link is a few places but definitely this can help so if you do have your items and you're ready to go out and interact with the seniors and just you know start making brand awareness and getting them familiar with the name and the face and the agency and things like that um, getting them familiar with your personality sometimes you know a lot of times I know I leave a lasting impression on people um, and sometimes that's all it takes you just go show your face and they're like wow she was really nice like she really when she was here she really focused on us she wasn't on her phone she didn't seem like she didn't want to be here like they might be like you know what I, I just want companionship I don't even need anything but hey I, let me get three hours of companionship like you never know you know but anyway with this service planner pro you'll be able to go ahead and plan your next move um, wherever you decide like if you know of a local independent living facility um, where some seniors may need assistance go ahead and start reaching out to them you can call you can Email, I would say to check out the website first to kind of do your research on them, even if you already know them. Things are always changing. Do a little research, see if they have like um, like a, a planner or somebody who you can reach out to a lot of times. What I see is like they'll have like one day a week where they do something specific or it's like twice a month or it's once a month or it's usually like twice a month um, and you can attend those things. And so one of the requirements at the places that I attend um, you have to bring a gift and it has to be more than five dollars and now the thing about that is if we just got a the book from walgreens it was originally ten dollars we bought it for a dollar but the value is ten dollars so that is something that i would be able to bring um and that's great so yeah you can put in like the event the location the address the contact name the notes um the feedback the follow-up interaction um, any notes, additional notes, anyone you spoke to, anyone you need to get back to. Um, what else do we have? Your goals, um, description, you know. So you can get, it gets really detailed in here where you can really set yourself up to start um, plugging some places in, start setting your appointments. You could put your dates in here so that you can make it to these places on time. That's what I really recommend. I, I honestly, I made this for myself and again like I said I made a budget planner for myself I made a diet planner for myself everything that I make I'm like you know what somebody else could probably use this as well let me go ahead and publish it and so that's how I ended up creating this I ended up creating this and I forgot to have my picture on the back and stuff but honestly it just made me feel more confident like I have everything that I need in place they're like oh who did you speak to Oh yeah, I spoke to such and such. Like I should already know, so, but I'm gonna flip my page open just to make sure. And just so that they know I'm very organized. I'm very put together. I know who I talk to, I wrote it down, it's right here. You know, when you when you work with me, when we collab, we gonna get things done. We gonna be organized, we gonna be on track, and we gonna have good results. <laughs> so um, yeah, and for me, I needed that. So, and you know, if it was like, okay um who did i need to get back to and then if i go there again and i see that person hey mary i tried to reach out and call you you didn't answer the phone do you have a chance to talk now so i actually looked you know into whatever you were talking about and you know it just gives you the opportunity to stay on track to stay focused have a plan to have a plan because if you go into something without a plan you will be all over the place and it's just it's not easy and so that's why i created this for myself because i needed something and I needed something that was more than just a notebook with open pages and I could just write freely, whatever. I needed something with structure that I can get familiar with the box that says, um, 
address, event, like type of event. Like I need something that's gonna tell me specifically. Um, and I know exactly where to write it. I know exactly where to find it rather than a notebook where you could write on any line, anything. So I think this is a really great tool. I think it would definitely help. Another thing is like, I would say for private caregivers, if you don't have a license yet, you don't want to obtain a license yet, you're not hiring people to go out and work for you, but you're doing it yourself. This is a great way that you can go out and um, get some more customers. And I have another video of that coming soon as well. It's basically going to be, nah, I'll save it. <laughs> I'll save it, but that's all. This was just a bonus video for me to come and tell you guys to hurry up and get to Walgreens and see what you can get. Um, they had some coffee mugs that were $3, so they were $0.30. Cent. They had some that were $7, so they were $0.70. Cent. Um, some of my notebooks rang up as $7, so they were $0.70. Cent. Some of them rang up as $10, so they were $1. Um, I apologize for my nasal congestion. I struggle through the change of season season and things like that. So have a little allergy issues going on right now, but that's pretty much all you all. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I will create a dedicated video answering your questions. I have a few questions built up right now. I actually might just do a video answering those questions. It might be another bonus one so they don't have to wait. Um, but other than that, go ahead and check in with the um, Facebook private group. If you have not yet, go ahead and request to be a part of that. There's a lot of things that are in there that are not on YouTube. I have to do a lot of converting and I just have not had the time to do so and I probably won't do it. So check out the Facebook group. Um, yeah, there's posts in there, examples in there, letting you know what's coming up on YouTube in there. Um, like this uh, Walgreens thing I came to tell you guys about. They already knew about it, so they had a heads up. So your Walgreens are probably empty now. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah, so things like that are in there. Um, so check it out when you get a chance. If you haven't yet, please subscribe or consider doing so. I really appreciate the engagement and I really appreciate making these videos for you. So let me know if there's anything else that you need answered. Um, but other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. And thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Okay.